Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to control a stepper motor NEMA 17 with the encoder module to control the speed and direction with the button. By rotating the encoder module the speed of the motor will increase or decrease and if you press a button on the encoder the direction of the motor will change. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. If you need a quality PCBs at competitive prices, just fill up the form on their website and you will get PCBs delivered to you in no time. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining and PCB assembly. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. So for this project you will need a stepper motor NEMA 17 a power supply for the motor, a stepper motor driver shield, stepper motor driver like A4988 or DRF8825, encoder module, breadboard, some jumper wires, Arduino board and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Vizuino website and download and install Vizuino program. Start Vizuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Now add pulse generator component. With this component we are going to set the speed for the motor and of course generating the steps. In the properties window set the frequency, in our case it is 2000, this will be the default starting speed but you can change this number according to your needs. Now select the pin icon and select float sync pin and as you can see another pin appeared on the component called frequency, we are going to use this pin to control the speed of the motor. Now let's add rotary encoder component. Because the integer value from rotary encoder sensor is too low for the pulse generator we are going to multiply this value by 50. To do that we are going to add multiply integer by value component. And in the properties window we are going to set the value to 50. Now we also need two flip-flop components, one will be for the steps and one will be for the direction. So let's set toggle flip-flop component. Because the second flip-flop component will be connected to the button of the encoder, we also need a debounce button component.
Connect Arduino Digital Pin 5 to Rotary Encoder Sensor 1 Pin Clock and connect Arduino Digital Pin 6 to Rotary Encoder Sensor 1 Pin Direction. Now connect Rotary Encoder Sensor 1 Pin Out to Multiply by Value 1 Pin In and connect Multiply by Value 1 Pin Out to Pulse Generator 1 Pin Frequency. Connect Pulse Generator 1 Pin Out to Flip Flop 1 pin clock and connect flip-flop 1 pin out to Arduino board digital pin 2. Now connect Arduino board digital pin 7 to button 1 pin in and connect button 1 pin out to flip-flop 2 pin clock and connect flip-flop 2 pin out to Arduino board digital pin 3. So now we are generating pulses on pin 2 and we are using digital pin 3 to set the direction of the motor. At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile built and upload button.